Welcome to the webinar, uh, monday.com, uh, reporting, reporting, reporting. We will show you today how to get the numbers that matter to your business from high level boards and chart views through to documents and dashboards. Uh, this webinar will show you how to gain control uh, of your business with insightful, relevant and timely data. So I am Damien Edwards, Commercial Manager at Interface. We are Monday.com Gold Partners. We have offices in the UK, uh, the US and Hong Kong. And we have transformed the way hundreds of businesses operate with a very simple mantra. We design simple to use connected systems that allow organizations to operate with more speed. And we provide complete visibility that allows organizations to control their processes and measure performance. So we work with clients including KPMG, HS2 and the Commonwealth. And we can provide a consultation and a demo of the Monday, monday.com system. Just a little bit about our support packages. So they include a dedicated customer success manager, uh, an account an account manager. They include a scoping session or sessions to learn about your requirements. Uh, they all include a certain amount of setup time as well, so we can get the boards and dashboards set up for you. And uh, all our packages include a, an, an annual support contract. So as well as all the setup, we're able to provide that ongoing support. And you get with us, you get a, a single point of contact. So that's the same person that uh, does the scoping, that manages the tasks to set the boards up. And that's the same person you contact when you've got questions about how to change something, how to fix something. Uh, so it's a single point all the way through. They get to know your business very well and how and they get to they make proactive recommendations for you and how to improve improve the system for you. So with me today um, we have uh, uh, firstly Andy Naylor who's our head of customer success. Hi guys so if you do have any questions throughout this webinar do please put them in the Q&A box that's on the screen. And what we'll do is we'll have a Q&A session at the end of the webinar. And also from monday.com, our account managers are with us today. So that's Z and Anna. I'm gonna pass you on to Anna, who's going to introduce um, monday.com to you. Uh, thank you, Damien. That was brilliant. I just want to confirm that you can hear me well, guys. Yes. Awesome. So, hi, guys. I hope you're doing well. My name is Anna, and I'm a channel partner associate for UK and Ireland here in Monday. Uh, really happy to be presenting to you today. I joined Monday.com uh, three months ago and working very closely with Interface to provide a better Monday user experience and to make sure our customers are successful with the platform. That's my role. Next slide, please. Uh, a short background about Monday. Since launching in 2014, we've been experiencing hyper growth year over year, and we were recognized as one of the fastest growing SaaS in the world. Our headquarter is in Tel Aviv. This is where actually I'm now, and we are visiting the office. And we are over like 1,000 employees globally around the world. So we have offices in New York, London, Sydney, San Francisco, Miami, and just opened Brazil. Uh, we work with all types of organizations from every industry, every size, and platform is available in 11 languages. Uh, even though our product, uh, our product is advanced, uh, you don't have to be tech savvy. Uh, it is easy to use and we have a very high rate of adoption across the departments. Uh, next slide, please. Working with uh, basically so many companies, we found that every department, whether it's like marketing, HR, operations, have an efficient processes internally. So on top of that, we see that every department uses very rigid and specific tools. That creates disconnection, like, you know, double work and simply lack of visibility. Uh, next, please. 
how do organizations attempt to overcome these challenges? Uh, people uh, spend hours in meetings, you know, creating hundreds of spreadsheets and countless emails in order to attempt to get all in one place. It becomes even more challenging to sync all data while other teams have their own priorities. The result costing the business time, money, and missed opportunities. Companies need a way to turn operational complexity into easy and efficient workflow that is available on the uh, that is available for the entire organization. This is the only way to keep up to speed in already competitive environment and be on top of market trends. Uh, next, please. So with Monday.com work operational system, you have the flexibility to run any project or initiative from wherever you are. The platform provides flexibility for each team to create their own workflow by using Monday building blocks. Next, please. Moreover, you can choose from dozens of templates to shape your work in minutes and dedicate your time for actual analysis. From the reporting standpoint, as an example, analysts use Monday to collaborate among sales managers, finance, and product team. Uh, all information from the tools that you're currently using, guys, and already invested in, like Slack, Google Drive, like Salesforce, is integrated into one place. All internal and cross-team communication happen within the platform, and that contributes to stronger business performance. It is critical for your teams to adapt quickly to any changes, right? With Monday.com, it becomes much easier to scale and adjust seamlessly to your needs. Uh, next, please. In addition to this, with the code-free building blocks, developers can create tailor-made uh, functionality on top of Monday. These custom apps can include dashboards, widgets, various views, and automations. Next, please. Monday.com brings your team together so you can continue to collaborate in one single source of truth. You can track and manage progress in real time and get actionable alerts, alerts on any potential issues before they even occur. You can make data-driven decisions and focus on big picture in the speed of a thought. Monday connects people, bridging the gaps between departments and centralize your data. And this is all in one platform. So next, please. Basically, this is where the magic happens. Thank you very much, Devin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anna. So what are we going to show you today? Uh, we'll show you how to display key pieces of data from multiple data sources in a single high-level table. Uh, the many options you have for viewing data in charts and graphs. How to, repair, to prepare report doc documents using Monday Docs. And then finally, how to sync data from other applications and use monday.com for enterprise level reporting. So let's go into our board. So we're going to show you today an example of a, a widget manufacturing business, but really but reporting is a monday.com is going to be good for, for any, type, any type of business. So we have a series of boards set up here. These show us uh, these show us sales opportunities across this business, and this is really where where the work gets done. But we want to see things at a higher level. So let's have a look at a single board where we're syncing data from across these multiple sources. Yeah. So let's jump into the top deals board here, uh, and on this board, the sales managers can clearly see the hot deals worth over 10,000 pounds. So what we've done here, we've split the board using automation to display the most promising deals in the section that we've called red hot deals at the top of this board. This allows sales managers to focus on the most winnable deals. The table also shows us key pieces of information for the sales manager with a range of fields from uh, the deal name, to the sales rep working on the deal, to the value of the deal, and most importantly, the expected closing date. Now, if we want to drill down further, we can filter by the salesperson. So if we select Damien here, then it will only show us Damien's hot deals. So the benefit of this board is that it allows sales managers to prioritize the sales rep's time on higher value deals. 
And it also provides us with visibility of the deals that are closing soon. So let's take a look at how this board is created using an automation recipe inside the opportunities board here. So here you can see that deals that are over 10,000 pounds create a new item in the top deals board where we were a moment ago. So it seamlessly connects them together. Now, if we jump back to the automation section, here we can see a whole range of automation recipes that are trigger-based on the information and actions you perform inside the board. Now, this allows you to generate reports in tables automatically, saving you significant amounts of time generating those reports manually. Absolutely, thanks very much. So that's how we pull information from our multiple boards that the team are using into one of those high level boards. So the managers just get those key pieces of information that it's that's useful to them. So we also have a high level board here that shows us uh, sales performance. So in this board, we can see uh, sales achieved by individuals and also groups on this board by teams as well. Yeah, so this board does show us a sales target of each team. So as you can see, we have the enterprise team here, the mid-market team and the SMB team. So we can clearly see the targets of each sales rep. We can see their achieved values. And also we have a field that shows us the percentage against their target. Now, not only that is we can see the team's target collectively uh, and where they are at as a whole. Now, the benefit of this is that it allows managers to quickly see who is performing and who is behind. And then this information tells them who they need to support to get the whole team to target. Okay, thanks. So viewing uh, data in tables lets us see this, as we've said, key pieces of information that are critical to managers. But in order to make sense of larger amounts of data, we need to view this graphically. So we have, we can do anything with the data inside monday.com and we have a couple of dashboards set up here that provide a clear visualization of the team's performance. Yeah, so these dashboards are built using widgets, which can be set up in minutes and you can choose to display the data in any way you wish. So first of all, let's take a look at the widget center for the popular widgets. I'll just have a look at a couple here. So we have the battery widget, which is great for showing the sales reps pipelines. We have the charts widget, which is great for visualizing data such as pie charts and bar charts. And then we also have the workload widget, which is really good for allocating staff resources. And Damien is gonna show us a little bit later on how we can set that workload widget up. So let's jump back into the dashboard that we have set up here. And what we can do is we can expand each item and drill down into the data to instantly identify the deals which need our attention. What we also have on this dashboard is the ability to switch to a TV mode. Uh, this is really good if we want to display the data on a large screen in the office to provide a visual reminder of the team's performance. So let's move to the map dashboard that we have. And this is using the map widget, which is great for sales reps out in the field so they can see their opportunities geographically. And then finally, if we move to the uh, dashboard to show the pipelines for each individual sales rep. Okay, thanks. Let's, so let's set up uh, a, new, a new dashboard and see just how easy that is to do. We are going to create a, a workload dashboard so we can see who is within, within their set capacity. I'm gonna use the opportunities board and I'm gonna display the workload widget here. 
So we can set a capacity within this widget. I'm going to set a capacity of two. And by, allow it, by setting a weekly capacity, this allows sales managers to see uh, who's available to allocate new sales opportunities to. And we can add uh, additional we can add additional widgets to this, this dashboard. So it might be that we want to display some KPI da data uh, down, down that right-hand side. So that's, that's how easy it is to set up a dashboard. You can share these dashboards with uh, other people within your team. You can, create a, you can create an email, schedule emails to be sent out on a weekly basis to key people within your team. There is another way that we can, we can share uh, reports with members of the team, and that is with our sales documents. So this is particularly good if you want to present figures alongside some commentary. In this example, we have uh, some commentary about the report, and we have a, an embedded table within this report. This is a dynamic table, so it will update as and when the information from the table updates, and we can actually change the content directly from, from our report page. So I'll hand you over to Andy. We're going to create a, he's gonna show us how to create a new report. Yes, yeah, so if we jump into the pipeline report here, and I'll just show you how we can create a document quite simply. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll give it a title with a bit of a header uh, formatting. Then what we'll do is just give it a short description just about what this report is going to relate to. Then we'll add a checklist widget here. So if we add the sales reps that are on this report and then we can check a couple of those off. And then finally, what we'll do is we'll add a dynamic board that we have in our workspace to display the opportunities dynamically within the report itself. So these documents can be shared with users or downloaded and emailed to a particular customer. The value here is that the data updates automatically. So if you're sharing a monthly report with a customer, it can be generated in seconds. Great, thank you. So lastly, uh, most organizations use many different systems for managing their operations. And it can mean that critical data is not included in some of your regular reports. I want to show you how monday.com can be used to pull in data from across other systems and used to show a full picture of your business success and highlight any problem, any problem areas. Yeah, so in this particular uh, area here, if we just click on the uh, main table up at the top, uh, in this example, what we've done is we pulled data from an ERP system, which shows us the statuses of the orders in production. Now this would be a custom integration with a one-way sync of the data directly into Monday, uh, but this would require implementation support from a partner. So if it is something that you're looking to do, please do get in touch with us. Uh, if you would like to integrate Monday with another system that isn't available through the application area. We're viewing this data on a table in a detailed view at the moment, but we can view the data in a number of different ways. So in this particular area here, we have a timeline. So we can see the start and end dates of the production elements. We can also view the data in a Kanban view where we can move the items into the different stages of production. And then finally, we have a dashboard view where we can see an overview of the orders in production. Yeah, thank you. So as Andy says, 
um, syncing data from an external system obviously involves some sort of integration and we have uh, a number of pre-built integrations available within, within Monday.com. Um, very simple to set up if your integration is available. If it's not, as Andy mentioned, also get in touch with a partner, get in touch with ourselves and we can, we can develop that integration, that integration for you. So by using Monday to report on all areas of your business, you can track performance uh, across, across your whole organization and get actionable alerts on any potential issues. And as more teams become integrated with monday.com, you get improved collaboration and better business performance. So that is it. Uh, we showed you Monday's advanced reporting features, displaying data from multiple tables in one single high-level table, uh, viewing data in charts and graphs, uh, re preparing report documents using Monday Docs, and then syncing data from across other external applications. So let's uh, open it up to your questions. Uh, post your questions in the in the Q and A. Q&A window, and we already have a couple of questions in, so we'll jump straight into it. Uh, what is the difference between a pro and enterprise edition? So there's, there's quite a lot of differences, aren't there, I think. Um, but um, I'll pass you on to Andy. Yes, yeah, certainly. And I think you can show, we can show you some uh, on the screen as well. So. I mean, one of the one of the key areas is obviously an increased uh, rate of permissions. So there are a whole range of uh, different permission settings that we can in, implement. So we, to stop and prevent people from creating, editing, deleting, and downloading. So you can see here on the screen, this is this area is only available for enterprise systems. You also get increased security. So again, if you click into the security area here, you can see that we've got single sign-on, for example. We, and if we can scroll down, we can see the different providers uh, there. We also have the ability to restrict the system by IP, and we have session management in there as well. Another area that is available on enterprise only is the ability to view audit logs. So again, if you click up at the top, we can see a whole range of everything that's going on uh, inside the system, who's done what and from what location as well. And we also have a great capacity for automation and integrations as well with the enterprise system. Yeah. and uh, And... Uh... As we're syncing data across boards, those those are uh, or, or they're using automation. So if you're using Monday in in, in its best possible way, um, then you're you're using automation. So you, you're using automation. So you should check that your the level of automations that you're doing fit within your the package that you've chosen. And quite often that means that um, um, yeah, that means that if you're a lot, if you're a if you're a, a, a medium size or large organization, you're going to need enterprise solution. Uh, moving on, is uh, uh, integration with other data sources possible on Monday edition? So yeah, it is. As as, as we mentioned, I think there we can integrate with. It, it, we we have we have an integration center that we looked at, and if your app that you want to integrate is available, then uh, we have a large number here. So uh, we can set these up in a few clicks. If not, then uh, a, a partner can do that, sort of build that integration for you. Um, do you have single sign-on? We looked at that. We did have sing, we just looked at that just a second ago. So we do on enterprise, yeah. Uh, how well do you control who can access your dashboard and who can not access sensitive information? I'll, I'll, let, I'll let Z answer that. He's our expert. Sorry, Damien, I just missed that question. Could you? Um, it's uh, how well do you control access to your dashboard and who can, who can access sensitive information? 
Yeah, absolutely. So um, there's a couple of layers to security and permissions within Monday. Um, so every workspace and every board on the enterprise edition, you'll be able to set up permissions as to who can access and also who has editing rights. So you may, for example, have a, uh, you know, choose to have a private workspace for the finance team who would prefer to keep some of that information hidden from everyone else in the business and only have that available to the execs or certain people within the team. Um, so that's all very flexible and adjustable within Monday. Same with any reporting dashboards. Um, with every board and dashboard, you have the ability as a user to specify if you want that to be a shared dashboard or board, or if that's something you want to keep private. Um, so yeah, I guess the, the short answer is pretty much anything that you create in Monday, you have permissions to adjust who has access. Um, Damien, there's also a couple of questions that have just come up in the Q&A. Yeah. So shall, maybe we should yeah. just uh, in, in, in our company, we're using Bitrix 24. What are the differences? So um, as a partner, we, we, we represent Monday.com and Bitrix 24. Uh, what are the differences? It's not, not, straightforward, not straightforward to answer. Uh, Monday.com is uh, a system that can be used to across, across your business. So really can be adopted for a, any, any type of process or department within your business and allows, I think as Ander, Ander touched on at the beginning, allows you to, to integrate those departments um, and get visibility across the whole, the whole organization. So it's, it, Monday.com is very configurable in that, in the sense that it's, you're, you're, you're building from scratch or using templates and, and, and uh, customizing those to your needs. So it, it's software that is built to uh, fit the way you work rather than changing the way you work to fit, to fit the software. Um, I, I won't go into detail on, on Bitrix 24, but um, I think Bitrix 24 is a, is a CRM and project management solution. Um, and we're, we're happy to have a demo, of course, and show you the two. I mean, the, the way we work as a partner is, is to have a conversation with you to understand your requirements. Um, and from, from that, we can make recommendations. Um, uh, but I would say they're both, you know, very configurable configurable systems. Um, we've got another question. Can, can we see a demo showing us how to best make use of Monday boards for managing timed events, program of work, manage measure performance of contracts against chosen criteria. We, we can abs absolutely do that. Um, if, if you want to email, uh, we'll leave contact details at the end, sales at intraface.com, we will create, we'll, 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 we'll prepare a demonstration for you. We'll show you um, exactly how your particular requirements can be, can be configured within Monday and how, how that can hand, that solution could handle your requirements. So we, we'd want to, uh, no, we won't do it now, we'd want to spend some time showing you exactly how you can do that. But certainly that's, that sounds like a particularly good use case for Monday. Um, is Monday GDPR compliant? I believe it is, uh, <laughs> as everything is these days, that's right, isn't it, Z, I think. Uh, data held on AWS in Germany, um, so absolutely fully, yeah. fully compliant. That's, that's correct. For all of our enterprise customers will um, be able to have uh, their data held in the EU in Frankfurt. And we are also fully compliant with GDPR outside of just the, the server location as well. Yeah, and there's a long list of compliance, I think, on the website. Uh, we can probably share with you if you wanted to find out more. I mean, we're HIPAA as well. It's a big one that we get as well, especially in the US. Um, do you integrate with Salesforce? And my understanding is yes, on enterprise. That's right. So yeah, we have uh, on our, in our integration center, we have, we have uh, a Salesforce integration, but it just, just an enterprise solution. Um, how much data can we run through Monday? Do you have scheduled dashboard delivery? So, um, yeah, like we actually like to answer your question directly. We offer about like 1000 gigabyte storage limit that covers like 20,000 items and sub items limit on the board, about 60 connected boards per board and 50 boards per dashboard. So, you know, it's quite extensive one. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I don't think we've got any, any more questions. So thank you very much for your
time today. I hope you found it useful. Uh, to show our appreciation, we're offering a free one hour consultation with a customer success manager here at Interface. You can use this for uh, help setting up uh, or training of, of your users. Just follow that link that's on, on the page there. Uh, our contact details are on here too. So contact us if you are evaluating, evaluating monday.com currently and require a demo of the system, or if you're an existing customer and you require some help setting up and getting the maximum out of, out of the system. Well, thank you again very much for your time. Bye, bye for now. Thank Thanks you. everyone. Thank you, bye-bye.